how's it going YouTube this is text for the best and I'm here with a very special video um if you recently saw I uploaded an Nvidia shield unboxing about um, two three days ago um, I've been working with the shield to get PC streaming working slash Mac streaming and the thing is with Nvidia shield streaming service it only allows for streaming with Windows and Nvidia GTX, I think it's 680 or above. Neither of which I have. I mean, I do have PC running on my Mac or via bootcamp, but I do not have any NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, otherwise, I have in multiple computers all of the other requirements met, except for the GPU. So I downloaded an app called Splashtop. And I also downloaded that app on my computer, my Mac specifically. I'm using, if you can see, I'm running Call of Duty 4 on my Mac right now. So I downloaded COD 4 on my Mac. Uh, I've had it for a long time, in fact, since I got it. And so I got Splashtop running on my Shield. So I also downloaded an app called Game Keyboard. Let me show you that. So these are my controller mappings. Let me show you how, how to get here. Okay, so when you first open up Game Keyboard, these will be your options. So first of all, you got to tap here, you got to enable Game Keyboard in the options for that. Then you have to, um, not that, sorry. Back. Okay, tap your um, optional step four. Tap that. Uh, tap select gamepad, uh, tap 10 buttons, and then, now, the problem with this is that this, first of all, cannot be mapped, only the click for this can be mapped, but otherwise this cannot be mapped. And these two are also um, the same thing, so you map the D-pad, you're also mapping this, you map this, you're also mapping the D-pad, you can't have separate controls for them. Also, these, only the shoulder buttons can be mapped. Only the shoulder bu buttons. These um, triggers cannot be mapped as of right now with the game keyboard. So those are the only problems. Now what I've done is I've mapped push button this to grenade, frag grenade. I've mapped um, this to look around. I've mapped these to walking around. I've mapped the sh um, right shoulder button to shoot. I've mapped the left shoulder button to aim. And that's basically it. I'm going to show you that my control is right now in Call of Duty. Let me show that to you. Move the tripod a bit closer so you can actually see that right now instead of the shield. So that's what matters right now. Um, so first of all, let me show you my combat controls. I've changed some of these combat controls. Uh, there we go. So these are the combat controls. Just gonna let you see those for a while. Um, you can pause it here. But other than that, yeah, that's it. Also, let me remap it to that. Forget about toggling it. Just aim down the sight. Okay. So now let's head into look. These are my look controls. I've mapped it to I, K, L, and J. Um, the look up, look down, turn left, turn right. These I've mapped to um, I, K, L, uh, I, K, L, and J. And move, uh, it's always been with a W, S, A, and D. And um, that's the COD mappings. Now let me come back here to the shield. So I can um, show you the shield mappings. Right here. I'm going to show you shield mappings. So, now what you have to do is you have to first of all make sure um, remap hard key is selected. I'll show, make sure you have, go into hard key mappings, and then see these are my um, D pad up is mapped to I, D pad down K, D pad right L, D pad left J, game pad. Our um, one uh, shoulder right shoulder button is mapped to I don't even know what that's called. Same thing with left shoulder button. That's for my um, uh, aim and shoot. 
then Wasad has been mapped to Y, B, A, and X. And this button push has been mapped to um, G, uh, which is for my fry grenade. And my, this button push has been mapped to shift, left shift, which allows me to run. So if I want to run, I just push and move this as I run. As I um, m move the switch, I push it too, so it'll let me sprint. Now, that's all you have to do here is, all you have to do here is that. Um, you do not need root for this. Um, normally what you would do is download gamepad um, THD, and then a map the touchscreen controls, but that's not what I've done here. Over here, uh, I've done a completely different thing. Touchscreen controls would require for root, but anyways, I've got Splash Top running on my computer right now. I'm going to head into Splash Top. And as you see, my MacBook Air is right there. I'm going to connect to it. So, focusing in there. Let's focus. Yeah, too much light. Um, I cannot lower the brightness at this point, but... Um, Sorry, you can't see it due to the light. Uh, but this is just some hints, gives. Um, okay, so these are just some hints. Just, just continue on that. And now with my mouse, I'm going to select Join Game. I'm going to select Crossfire, which is a server I'm an admin on, EGO, great um, clan, you should check them out sometime, if you get the time, of course. Hold on, let me get the game started, and then I will pick up my shield and start gaming with that. So, it's going to redirect me to the server, since they changed the IP of that. So, yeah, this is a really interesting project. It's really interesting. Um, those flash top, I did talk to them, I did send them an email, and they said that they'll forward, um, my suggestion to the developers, I, um, requested NVIDIA Shield support for splash top, uh, and they will, they, they said they'll forward it to the developers, okay, I'm having connection interrupted, there's really nothing I can do about that, okay, so, this is my look. And I can move. There's really nothing I can do about the connection interrupted. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know. My internet might be acting kind of weird. But I can... Yeah, it's being kind of crazy with the connection interrupted, etc. Um, you never want that and while you're playing Call of Duty. I don't know why it's happening. But technical difficulties, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to run around. Let me just demonstrate the controls rather than actually playing the game, since I can. Okay, now, shoot, aim and shoot, aim and shoot. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's the connection being interrupted. So aim and shoot, let go of the aim. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can run. You cannot run backwards, though. You can walk backwards. You can throw a grenade. And it will explode. And that's basically all you can do. Um, in the past, I did have mapping for these to um, crouch and grenade and all those. And this was a virtual mouse. But the thing with the virtual mouse, and I had this as the move, and this is a virtual mouse. But the thing with that was, was the virtual mouse, it really lagged too much. Even with, I have 100 Mbps internet, and I have wireless VG and N routers right now. Um, uh, it's just having a problem, I just need to reset something. But it was being seriously, seriously laggy, even with everything amazing. And it, it's just a problem with the virtual mouse and splash top. They don't work the best together. So, I'm just showing you some gameplay here. They don't work the best together, uh, virtual mouse with with splash top. So that's why I didn't have to uh, reset that. There was no solution for that. I had to remap all the buttons, and 
you map everything. There's nothing else I could do. So I'm just gonna let you watch a little bit of gameplay. Okay. Yeah, there's um the audio has been turned off right now on my shield. But if I do turn it up, you can actually hear the audio coming directly from the shield. There's audio streaming supported. But I just have that turned off right now, given the fact that I'm speaking. It's a very busy server, so it's um, hard to actually just do simple moving and etc. Simple gameplay and multiplayer. And I also have to make sure I'm looking at the. Um, I just killed someone. So you can kill people. People. Um, so I'm looking at the camera at the same time. I'm looking at the. Oh, yes, I need to map knife too. I also need to map, uh, map F for. Um, Coward, uh, what's it called? Coward's Way Out in the Last Stand. Um, right now, I mean, Call of Duty, you have to map every single control in every single game for this as of right now. I know that might sound kind of boring, but it only takes about five minutes, and after you've actually mapped everything, it's it, it's enjoyable. It's 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 not the best experience. It's nowhere near the best experience, but it's fairly enjoyable. Fairly. This server is really crowded right now, and my team is seriously losing. Maybe if I was on the winning team, it would have been easier. But there's nothing I can do here. Let me throw one of these grenades. Yeah, sure, let's do that. And let's run, rather than just walk. I mean, walks anyways, right? Everyone runs. So, as you can see, it works. It, it's okay. Uh, that's all I can really say is that it's okay. I'm not going to give it too many down, I mean, it's not even in beta, this isn't, this is a custom homebrew method, this is not uh, something that has been developed, this has not been coded, this is just a homebrew method, um, using multiple applications, and using multiple um, different services to actually make this work, and that's something you can do, and there's really not a coded solution for something, you gotta work it out yourself. And there's no good solution for this. I mean, I did email Splashtop, and um, they will try and get to work with the solution to that. Um, adding Shields compatibility to their products, um, their Splashtop, uh, TH, GamePad THD, and Splashtop regular. So, when we see that added support, it'll be much easier, you will, it will no longer be a homebrew method, it'll be all coded, um, it'll be much easier, you can use all your controls, right now, again, there's multiple controls that cannot be mapped, especially separately, and D-pad and these are linked anyways, these um, buttons are not mappable, um, the, this is not mappable, you see, that, that brings too many issues into the space for um, using the game controller. Uh, I was able to, I did try out some other layouts as I previously mentioned, I was able to crouch, I was able to jump, I was able to um, go prone, I was able to throw different kinds of grenades and change weapons, but it wasn't working with the virtual mouse, it just, it, it wasn't working, it wasn't happening, it's not going to happen, I knew it wasn't going to happen, and there was no hope. So, yeah, I think that's enough gameplay, I think that's enough everything, it's been about 14 minutes. Uh, it's good, it's worth it, it's, it's worth it, it's worth the work, because you can actually enjoy this, this is possibly enjoyable, now as you see I cannot jump off here, that's an issue, so I'm gonna go to my computer, push space, and move using the side, there we go, and now I will be able to, well I was going to, but, anyways, those are my final thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, thanks for watching, of course. I'm going to disconnect my session. And the session will be disconnected. Okay. Home. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.